Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Pauper. We are playing some Red Green Madness with an unkeepable 7-lander, I mean 7-hander. <laughs> going for 6 cards here. We're going to put that mountain on the bottom. And we'll see where we go from here. Forest. Okay. Well, we have a turn 3 worm. We'll have to see where we go from there. Hopefully it'll be good enough to combat whatever our opponent's doing. Oh, is this going to be Stompy? This is going to be a good turn, I bet. Ranker. Okay. It's all right. All right. We're going to go ahead and go with the Wild Mongrel. And uh, I think I'll just take the damage from the burning tree. Hmm. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I can also lightning axe um, in a couple turns from now. So, oh, there's the pit skulk. Sure. And the ledge walker. Oh boy. Okay. Neonate's not bad. Let's go for the mountain, and I guess we pass the turn. And we are going to hopefully uh, be able to kill the pit skulk with the mongrel, and then maybe, uh, I don't know, do something with the... Ooh. Elephant guide. <laughs> I think we're going to lose this one, guys. Going to be a quick game. Not getting with a pit skulk, sure. Uh, is the wild mongrel going to be that useful anymore? I can't lightning axe this guy. Hmm. Yeah, well. I can't just take eight. That's the problem. I'm taking four here for sure. I guess we will block it with the mongrel. We'll give up on the mongrel. Pump him up. Play the arrogant worm. And we'll take five. But yeah, I don't think we'll be racing this ledge walker, unfortunately, especially because there's going to be a ranker on it. Oh, man. Don't think we have any enchantment destruction either. So, what's my best bet? I guess I can try to faithless looting, discarding fiery temper to hit the pit skulk. Uh, I guess I'll play this forest in case I draw another worm. In which case, I'd probably rather play that. There's the worm. So let's discard Reckless Worm Neonate. Let's attack with the worm. So we're dead in two turns. Is there any way we can race? They take 8, 9, 10, 11. They're at 5. Kind of need a miracle. Surprisingly close race, though. Oh, he's not playing. So I don't even need to block the Pit Skulk, really. It doesn't change the clock. Unless he can kill me this turn, which I doubt very much. Oh. Alright, well that's 12. <laughs> Alright, we were not going to win that one anyways. So let's let's go on to sideboarding. Alright, this is what our moments piece is for. Um, what else can we bring in? I guess Pulse, but I think I'm going to hold off on the Pulse for now. Uh, we are going to leave in all of our big guys. 
I think we're going to take out some of the little guys. Lightning Bolt, Lightning Axe is all good. I think we're going to take out a couple Neonates and maybe the Tormenting Voice. And try to go from there. Hopefully the Moment's Peace will allow us to get the tempo we need to win. No enchantment destruction from us. Just maybe maybe something we can shore up on. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I will be on the play this time. All right. Well, you know, okay. Double moments piece. I can stay alive for a while. Opponent's got a one drop. All right. Nettle Sentinel. I will happily discard one of my lands for that. Uh, so let's go for... Actually, I should have just played my mountain. Wild Mongrel. We'll pass the turn. Going for the Nest Invader. Okay. So I guess they're not attacking. That's fine. I would have attacked first. Actually, I don't think I would have blocked, just in case they had a pump spell. Yeah, no attacks. Okay, sure. Wow. Um, so here I've, have my, I've got my three mana. Do I attack, potentially lose out on a mountain and a moment's peace to be able to go with Worm? I don't think he'd double block. Let's give it a shot. No blocks. Okay. So let's go with the Reckless. And we'll pass. Okay, getting a Quarian Ranger, sure. Okay. Nah. If he wants to cast a Pit Skulk, that's fine with me. I've got the tempo advantage right now. Hopefully this will be enough to carry us to victory. Oh, it's going to be hunger. Okay. Ugh, that's unfortunate. That's bigger than our worms. Yikes. Okay. Now we're kind of a stand, at kind of at a standstill here. I guess I'll have to uh, draw some removal. Oh, oh, that's really bad. <laughs> that's two five fives. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this game's gonna be hard to win. I guess I'll take the ten this turn, and then I'm going to start swinging back. Go to 8, and then good thing we've got these moments piece. Good grief. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got it, man. Uh, 
Oh, and you can untap. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. Actually, you can untap both of them. So now, oof. Can't afford to lose my steam here. I think maybe I could just uh, bolt the Quarian Ranger. Uh, it stops him from untapping his guys, which I guess is all right. There's no point attacking right now. So we're just going to hold back and fog. Wow, double hunger was... Uh... Oh! Wow! <laughs> That's a big boy! That's an 8-8. Eight -eight. Oh my goodness. Triple hunger. And we enabled it for him. Although I guess he would have just sacked the spawn, but still... Ugh. This guy's got everything. Holy moly, what a short match. I don't think we're winning this. Just saying. Alright, well, I guess a little moment's peace. Like, I don't... Yeah, I really don't see what we can do right now to get out of this. I guess I'll get in with the mongrel. Discard a rugged highlands. We'll eat that and pass. Honestly, I think I just would have made another five five. Okay. Elephant guide, sure. Two eight eights, yeah. <laughs> I think this game is done. I took out on my card draw too. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna save us all some time here. <laughs> well, that's the power of Stompy, my goodness. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.